Hey all, Russ here, Review TV. Welcome. Check it out. We're just passing through Sholo, Arizona. This is downtown Sholo. A few motels. This is a big little town. This place is getting packed full of people. I couldn't believe it. Went to the Walmart here and it was just overloaded. Anyway, we're going to go do some boondocking tonight. Yay going to head over this uh, Highway US 260. Which will take us all the way over to Payson, Camp Verde, Cottonwood, Sedona, that area. And this is one pretty drive. I drove it, oh, two years ago, coming back the other direction. Try to get some of the bugs off here for you. <laughs> not a far ride pacing uh, but along this way uh, there's a big rim it's high mountain flat top and there is boondocking everywhere campgrounds everywhere dozens and dozens of them And we're up here in elevation, and guess what? We're going to beat the heat. Yay. It's still warm. <laughs> Look, even got a few clouds. Monsoon time. Monsoons are coming into Arizona. Thunderstorms in the afternoon. Humidity. A lot of moisture comes up out of the Mexico, off the Pacific Ocean. And we get rain, which we need it. Oh, if you could just smell it. It, it is pine scented everywhere. The locals say they get used to it, but oh man, it, it is just neat. There's some remnants of the old logging days. They, I think they put a moratorium on it. Logging. They really control it now. And fire. Oh my goodness. I think back in the earlier 2000s, they had a massive fire up here. Blue sky, few clouds, bunch of trees. We're gonna go camping, how about that? Okay, right up the road here, there's a little community called Herber and Overgard. Gonna pass through that and stay on 260. We're getting into Herber here. Now if you want to spend the summer and get away, I, there's RV parks. You can come up here. A lot of people come out of Phoenix, Quartzsite, the desert, because it's much cooler up here. Really pretty, huh? Ooh, you know, I just spotted this is a park on the left. You know what I see? Oh man, I see a bunch of cars. I think they got a car show going here. Let's stop. Looks like their little community park here. There's their visitor center. Cool. <laughs> you never know. I had no clue. Want to go see a small town car show? Heck yeah. Wow, I see quite a few. I mean, it's no Lake Havasu car show, but... Look how burnt some of these trees are. They were on fire a long time ago. Still green now. There it is. There's your car show. Let's get parked. We'll go for a little walk. How cool is this? Wow. 
Wow, look at these things, huh? Isn't that gorgeous? What a paint job on this baby, huh? Woof. Forty-one Ford. Wow. <laughs> Old Mustang. Convertible. Oh man. Oh no. They spent some time and money on this stuff, huh? Yep. Wow. Nineteen fifty-nine. That thing is just spotless. To be a car wax salesman right now, huh? Oh man. Absolutely beautiful. These are very well done. Very well kept. Got some pickup trucks. Nice. They got their pictures, what it looked like when they bought it. Went through all the restoration. That's a labor of love there. <laughs> My goodness. Well, let's see. There's a few more on the other side. We'll wander over there. Love that color. Absolutely gorgeous. The van should be that color, huh? <laughs> uh. That is something. Look how that hood pops up like that. 59 Corvette. Put the top down, cruise these mountain roads. Nice cool weather up here. That car was built for this area. 260 is a good road. That's a U.S. highway. It's kind of hard to film. It's kind of fast paced. Real hard to film. And looks like they're selling something here. Car wash. <laughs> Look at this thing. My goodness. Go for a ride in the desert. It's too wide though on for a lot of trails. Oh boy. Racing. Look at the wheel on it. Damper, which you have. It'll come with a tensioner. So they're selling big engines. Look at this. Front drive system. Wow. Okay. Let's go find us a campsite. Had to stop. My goodness. Car show in Herber, Arizona. Here we go. Look at that. Another one coming in. He's late. <laughs> Got a food truck coming in. This is probably a major event here in the summer. town here gonna stay on 260 it's endless where where we're going it's endless where you can camp disperse camping free so you got a few businesses auto parts Ace hardware gas stations neat little town once again this want to stay cool in the summer come on up here 
I'm sure this is growing like Sholo and all these areas. It's just flooded with people anymore. People want to get out of the valley heat. Down in Phoenix, it's been in the 110s, 115s. Brutal hot. There's the Buckskin Lodge. <laughs> I'm sure there's hunting and fishing, hiking, biking. I'm sure there's ATVs. Arizona has a lot of cool places to visit. We're not that far from Payson. Actually, we're not even that far from Phoenix. Just gotta go down the mountain. Oh, back up in the tall pines. Looks like some of them are dying out. It's been so darn dry. Need that rain. Hopefully this summer we'll have a good monsoon season and these deserts will really get a good watering. Okay, I'm just going to look for uh, service road and start checking some of these out. We'll find us a campsite. Really a fast paced road, it's kind of hard to film it. I'll catch what I can when I'm on this road. Ooh, ooh, look at this. This might be one here. What do you say? Let's check it out. There's a yellow campfire sign, so yep, this is definitely a dispersed area. Parked here a second. Let's go for a walk. Wherever you see a road like this with one of these signs, chances are it's camping. You can disperse camp. I see the camp sign up farther. Yeah, fire restrictions. You don't want to do that here. That is one old time tree there, huh? Giving up some good shade, too. Here you go. Camping, 14 day limit. This is Forest Road 210. But I think I'm going to keep going down the road a ways. Get a little farther. A little closer towards uh, Payson. I think it's called Forest Lakes when I was looking at it on the maps. Temperature right now, it's probably in the high 70s, about 77, 78. No breeze. It's still beautiful. But you can really see how these forest roads go way back. You just find you a nice little shaded spot. No campfires, but you can camp up to 14 days. We're really not that far right now from that town of Herber. Right there's US 260. Kind of noisy. But there's roads on the other side there too. But the next 40 or 50 mile stretch, I mean, they're endless all through here. So we say, let's keep on rock, rocking down the road. Get up here around this forest lakes. 
I believe it looks like on phone. They even got RV parks. I don't want to do an RV park. I want a dry camp. Too nice a weather. I stocked up full of food too. What sign say? Yep. Couple more miles, we'll be up Forest Lakes. Back in Sholo, uh, there's a Walmart there. And that place was packed. That was probably the busiest Walmart I've ever been in. It's back here. Alright, speed slowing us down, so this must be it. A lot of trailers, there's fuel, a little store. Yeah, there's campgrounds in here with hookups. There's a road. Yeah, we'll keep going up a little farther. Here's one. Wherever you see them little brown signs with an arrow, that's a Forest Service road. So check this one out. Yep, definitely camping here. Sign says stay in numbered spots. No more than 10 people per site. There's the fire sign, fire restriction sign. There it is, 14 day, it's free. Stay on the roads, that stuff. More signs. I see quite a few rigs up here off to the right. Well, let's just keep driving around, see if we find something we like. Here's the camp area. Looks a little crowded. Today's Saturday, so no groups. Everybody's got a generator. <laughs> Look at the shade you can get though. Now shade's not always your friend when you're running off solar. Shade's nice to stay cool, but then you don't get the sunshine for the power. I don't like that area. Let's go, keep going back a ways. Ooh, we'll follow this guy. He looks like he knows where he's going. Huge power lines there. That means they got roads that go way back. Now we're talking. I don't see that many rigs back here. We're back quite a ways. At least a good mile or so. There's a fifth wheel. He's all set up. There's a motor home right in the trees. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at this. I found us a home. With shade. Oh, man. No one was here. We are. <laughs> Let's check it out. Well, what do you think? 
I could set the van up in the shade so later on in the hot sun, get some shade, cannot have a fire. This doesn't look bad at all, nice and flat. Don't have to worry about leveling the van. I think we can call this home for the night. Kind of close to the road, but that's okay. Picture perfect day. My goodness, if you ever get a chance, get up here. And best part, this is free, no cost. I'm only gonna be here for one night. Now you can get a better look at all the different little roads that go back through here. Then people just pull off to the side, set up camp. I'm sure on the weekends you get a lot more of the families and stuff up here. There's some more rigs. If you got a little group, look how far back those power lines go. So you just zigzag along through here. This is actually a really good spot. cool and like I said earlier we're over a mile from the main highway you can't hear it which is even better all right we say let's set up the van Okay, the maid's day off, so excuse the mess. <laughs> Go on in. Normally what I first do is I open up the ceiling fans. Uh, they are powered. Get these guys open, get some air circulation through here. Go on the fan. Do the back one. And this really draws some air through here. I'll show you in a second now when I shut my slider door. Then I open this little guy up. Air just pours through here. It's like a mini I think I call it air conditioner, but you really get a really good strong breeze if you have both roof fans uh, exhausting and air pulls right through there. Okay, get the blue eddies fired up. Now this is my backup system. I have a, another set of batteries for the house, for the refrigerator. But the Blue Eddies, I use the power of the fan here. That tornado. All my computers, flat screen, all that. Look at that, we're even producing 130 watts and only using 52. So we're doing pretty good. Those are tornado fans really put out too. And for sale, let's see if I got anything. I do have a booster on the van. Looks like I got about two bars. Verizon, two, three bars, ATT. So I got a little bit of Wi Fi. That'll work. So this is kind of my setup here. Pretty simple. I'll put some covers up over the windows. There's my view. Scope out the neighbors. <laughs> Need to wash that window, huh? Okay, got the computer, flat screen fired up, coffee pot hooked up. 
I got plenty of food for later. Before I make a salad, I brought lunch meat for sandwiches. A little fruit to snack on. I'm going to stay sitting right here. Maybe later on I might move the van over a few feet and catch some shade when the uh, afternoon sun really gets going. But that breeze comes right through there. With those uh, roof vents going, you can just feel it. Comes barreling right through. Pretty nice, really. Not quite air conditioning, but it makes it pretty comfortable. All right, let me throw some covers over the windows. Okay, I had this uh, curtain there custom made so the bottom window can stay open. I just threw a little foil up, knocked down some of the sunshine, left a little bit open for light. We're done deal. This is home for the night. Journey continues. Talk soon.